Today we're going to show you how to use Vein Miner on your Minehut server. Let's get into it. Oh, the diamonds. Yes, give me, give me. Give me. All right, guys. So first thing we're going to want to do is we got to find a vein of ores. So you know what? We're going to go into spectator mode. Entrant, you're free to join me in this. Let's see what we can do. We're just trying to find, I guess, anything underground yeah, where we will be the mine good stuff. It looks, it looks promising, I guess. Maybe something well lit. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. It's all so dark down here. Okay. I'm finding something. Um. Oh, I found something. I think I think I got something good here. Got a lot of good stuff. So now we'll go back to survival. So we got some ore, or sorry, we got some coal, some red, some uh, redstone dust, some iron. Lots of good stuff here. So with vein miner, what you can do is uh, you hold shift, you start mining, and it mines the Ooh. whole vein for you. That's so useful. And that, that just makes it so, you know, you, you on a survival server or something like that, that people can just go in and they don't have to do all the hard work. It just, it just makes it a lot easier. Just, we're just exactly. making Minecraft easy. Streamlines it. Look at that. So nice. And you, all you have to do is hold shift and mine it, and then that's it. That's it. Um, and you can also do this with trees as well. So, you know, let's go back into spectator mode. Let's find a tree. I know we're on an island. So let's see if there are any trees on a neighboring island we can find. Oh, there's a lot of, oh, there's a tree. The one tree on this other island. So we made it to the island. There's our neighboring island over there. Uh, Panda luckily, Island. Panda Island, yeah. <laughs> luckily there was one tree on this island. So same as with the ores, you just shift, use your ax, and it mines the whole tree. Well, Cuts Ooh, down the whole gone. tree. It looks like it leaves to the leaves. The leaves of the leaves. That's fun to say. The and then, uh, uh, but yeah, it got rid of all the wood. Yeah, the leaves will decay after a while. I imagine if you found a bigger tree, like in the jungle or something like that, that it would actually, mm. it, it would do all of it. Unlike the uh, the tiny little tree that that was uh, near our spawn island. It would. Do we show them a giant jungle tree being cut down? I think Ooh, that'd let's be do fun. It. Let, let, let's yeah, let's go cut down the jungle. All right, let's locate a jungle. All right, we found one. I'm gonna teleport there. Nope. Oh no, I am getting hurt. I <laughs> suffocating. I'm suffocating. Oh, you okay, saved us, Trent. <laughs> Good job. No, no. I was like, not. Like creative mode. Good, quick, quick thinking. Good job. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Right, he was a large tree. Oh yeah, this is a large tree. All right, let's try it. Let me switch back into survival mode. All right, you ready for this? Do it, I'm ready to watch it go down. Oh! Oh, oh it left some at the top though. That tree was so big. Mm -hmm. That was a big And tree. it just gave you all that wood in your inventory real quick? Uh, it's right oh no, here. it's down there. Yeah, there you, yeah, there you go. That's, oh, that's so convenient. So convenient, I love it. Yeah. Yep, entire tree gone. And you can also do it with like sand and stuff too. Like if you're trying to trying to terraform a bit. You can actually. Let's let's go over here. Well, let's uh, let's get rid of this gravel. So I got my shovel. Gravel. So uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, oh man, look at that. That got rid of a lot. And you can pick up all that flint, make arrows, whatever you want with it. So so useful. <laughs> Yeah, so... You can do a sand, too, over here. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I gotta be honest, that's a little bit difficult to actually uh, use because you use it once and then you just fall down. Um, so <laughs> in, in the settings, though, you can tweak exactly, like, how many blocks it breaks uh, for, for each time or, like, what the maximum is. But it's really, really nice, especially when you're just getting started. Like, if you have a survival economy server and it's all about efficiency, you don't want people to get bogged down on having to, you know, just, like, mine trees forever and, and think they're cut down trees forever. So it's, it's just easier to let them, you know, just hit, hit it once and then they, they, they get all the rewards right away. Yeah, very convenient. And that's how you use Vein Miner on your Minehut server. Okay, wait, are we saying hi, I'm Kara? And, and then like, hi, I'm Trent, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>